hi guys welcome back to my channel and i promise that i'll give you an update of my week one ketogenic diet lifestyle i call it a lifestyle not a diet um all right so if you have not looked up what ketogenic diet is or you don't know what it is then you can check it out or do some research right um, in a nutshell it's pretty much um high fat and low carb and minimum protein so i've been on this uh diet for a week now and i'm gonna tell you what my results are are what my symptoms were now if you want to know how much i lost stick around to the end of this video all right so day one i felt great no stress no uh no hang-ups no craving no nothing and it was great now day two that is where i began to feel the keto flu so this is um the keto flu is pretty much the expressed that you will feel when you're on keto so pretty much it's your body uh, responding to the withdrawal of carbohydrates right so you call it keto flu and keto flu has a few symptoms which include headache um, nausea dizziness to name a few so I had the headache and it was really bad and I thought I wouldn't make it I thought I could I pushed through that day it was fine after that um, around day five I started to feel better like I could do this like I had so much energy I I wasn't craving um anything and it was just really 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 a good feeling i had as i said before no things, no crashes after dinner no crashes after lunch it felt so amazing um on around the third day i noticed something about myself i had something called brain fog right I would go into the kitchen or go into my room but i was in there for all right totally forgot what i was there for so that is a symptom of keto flu as well brain fog really not sure <laughs> what i was about so i know that was a symptom of withdrawal um from carbs um as it relates to bowel movement now one of those symptoms was constipation your girl did not feel that i was good in that department because every morning i started off with apple cider vinegar lemon and a little bit of so that's apple cider vinegar lemon and a little bit of stevia so i was good and i never had that issue all right so moving on my sleep to be honest with you, I did notice something different about my sleep. I woke up in the middle. No, I did not wake up in the middle of the night. Sorry. I um, woke up around 3 a.m. Bright, feeling bright, feeling very energized, feeling very good. So I was just wondering if that was an effect of the uh, ketogenic diet. There was one other day where I woke up very early like 6 a.m and typically i wake up at 8 so i was like hmm why am i up at 6 a.m and feeling so great so i think it does um kind of tamper with your sleep but i do based on my research i do know it gets better in terms of your sleep it gets better as you go on um it's my it has been challenging for me to meal prep so if you're going to do this diet, you have to have the meal prep. You have to plan ahead as to what you're going to have, what you're going to eat. And that's not always easy for some people because they're on the go. And yeah, that can be very challenging. So um, find quick and easy ways to get your meals and to get your fats in if you're going to do this. And um, I realized also that I'm not as hungry. As before so longer throughout the day without eating yeah and that could be because if I'm working I can't really 
um, stop to eat every time or five meals a day or three meals a day. So on the diet, I realized I can go much longer. I'm filled. I'm not um, as hungry. And yeah, that's pretty much it. For my way in, 255 pounds when I began. And now I weigh 200 and I think 51 or 50. It will be somewhere here. So that's a total of four, four one, five. That's a total of five pounds in one week. So typically based on the research in the first week or two of any diet or low carb diet, you're going to lose water. So I think most of that weight is water already, but at least there is some change in my body and I am going to give it a chance to see what it can do. This is a challenge. So I'm not giving up yet and I love the way I feel. The only thing I need to do is to really truly plan my meal, really plan my meal um, and not get into uh, a place where I'm really, really hungry because if I do that, I'm just going to grab anything and eat. So is one thing to think about. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. If you want to see more of this or you want to join me on my journey, um, I'm going to do another week at the end of the week two video um, next week. So you can tune in for that. Pretty much that's it for now. Um, those who want to join the ketogenic journey, it can be done. It is difficult in the beginning, but like anything that is good, anything that is um, effective will take time, will take effort. So try it. All right, guys. See you next week.